filming this morning. Ooh. Look at that. Hey guys, how's it going? We'll see if we can get this talking here um, in two clips. This is my second try. I recently took a trip down to San Diego with my friend Caleb and Jake to do some surf and ocean photography down there around the wind and sea La Jolla area. Um, I'm not going to name all the specific waves because a few of them are kind of low key. But anyways, it was you know a great trip it's kind of my regular saturday sunday early mornings drive shoot all day edit late into the night and that's how i'm able to do this luckily in the fall i'm going to be working for album surfboards and uh pursuing this passion full time so anyways it's a behind the scenes clip video excuse me i'm going to go through some of my favorite photos that i took talk about the settings um, kind of my outlook and mentality on photography, what I look for when I'm at a setting and shooting. And then at the end, I have a few other pretty cool clips of some guys catching some tube rides. And um, yeah, I'll play that as well. So anyways, I hope this is valuable. Hit me up in the comments with questions and subscribe if you're into that, I'd appreciate it. And um, yeah, anyways, to the photos. Whenever I get to a place to shoot, I like to first capture the entire scene. This is with my 16 to 35 millimeter G Master lens that gives it that fisheye look. I'll capture rocks. I don't hear, but typically I'll capture the floral life, the wildlife. I'll try to capture, you know, that story from start to finish rather than just jumping in right into the action. You know, Caleb looking at the lineup prior to the surf. After doing this and setting the mood, then I'll put on my 70 to 200 millimeter G Master lens. I'll typically use a tripod if I'm switching between photo and video. Here, again, I'm focused on the action, but I'm also trying to see the whole frame. When I look through the camera, I look at the corners. I look at the things that um, you know a typical or a, or a newbie might not think of. So then, in post production, I'm not completely you know cropping down insanely or anything. Really, I, I like to keep it as authentic as possible. I do edit. Obviously, these colors um, are edited to bring out that vibrant feel. But I'm not doing anything crazy on Photoshop. So I capture before the surf, the surf, and then the post surf. Caleb and Jake on the walkout. Um, really getting that feel and then here I end with some profiles some portrait show uh, photos which I really loved how they turned out just asked the guys hey real quick you mind if I, I get some pictures literally this took 30 seconds and I, and I think it completed that collection so I know that was totally wave tops but I hope that was helpful and um, you know I'm gonna do this again I'm gonna dive into the detail of how I bring a photo from start to finish please subscribe enjoy this clip at the end and uh, thank you so much guys <laughs> 